I am trying to lay off the carbs. I'm a vegetarian now. Anyone a vegetarian? Yeah, there you go. I'm not a strict vegetarian. I eat beef and pork. <laughs> and chicken, but not fish, because that's disgusting. How can you tell when fish goes bad? It smells like fish either way. Well, this smells like a dumpster. Let's eat it. No one really likes fish. They just won't admit it. They're like, I like fish just as long as it doesn't taste like fish. I got news for you. I don't think you like fish. I'm almost positive fish is supposed to taste like fish. Actually, you know what's really good on fish? Anything that kills the taste of fish. How about relish in a gallon of mayo? That'll do the job. What if we squeeze a lemon and wrap it in seaweed and cover it in soy sauce? He's anti-fish. And we're right next to Lake Michigan. I am amazed that we're still serving fish with the heads on there. Don't you always feel like that eye is looking at you? Like, hey, you don't mind if I watch while you eat my body, do you? Uh, don't be distracted if a little tear comes out. You can just tell yourself it's butter. Oh, what if a fish was in the audience? That would be awkward for all of us. It could happen like Michigan's right there, buddy. The fish would laugh, but on the inside it'd be crying. Sad. You and your fish head joke. Obviously, some people prefer it like that. Y'all have the fish. Keep the head on there and uh, find out if it had a nickname. Anywho. Pig rose, yeah. Pig rose, we always have that pig head sitting there, which is sad, because you can tell they killed the pig when I was eating an apple. <laughs> hey, pig, you want an apple? Sure, what are you doing with that spear? Ow! <laughs> Mid-bite, every time. At least those animals aren't alive, yeah. I was feeling uncomfortable when I go in a seafood restaurant, they have that lobster tank sitting there, all the lobsters are peering out like, hey, what are you here for? I'm here to eat you. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, Harvey, this guy. Harvey? <laughs> oh, and Harvey was gone. <laughs> My niece is nine years old. She informed me she's a vegetarian. I would love to have pulled that when I was a kid. Uh, no thanks, Dad. I'm a vegetarian. <clears throat> no son of mine's gay. <laughs> eat your meat, pussy. <laughs> His dad sounded scary. You ever eat fast food in front of a vegetarian? They look at you like you're barbecuing a kitten. <laughs> oh my God, you're eating that? Yeah, and I'm not gonna digest it for a decade. <laughs> Come along with me. I do love the vegetarians. Uh, I always get a kick out of when they try and impress you. They're like, I haven't had meat in five years. I haven't had a banana in a month. <laughs> Don't see me bragging about it. Do you know what they do to those chickens? No, but it's delicious. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love animals. I just love to eat them more. <laughs> Fun to pet, better to chew. I do feel bad they have to be killed. You know, I'd prefer it was like an animal suicide. Maybe the animal deserved it. You know, this is a good chicken sandwich. Think this bastard tried to steal my car. <laughs> good work, Roger. Who's Roger? I was just getting used to Harvey. I don't know who some of these people are. I can never really be a vegetarian, though. I love steak too much. Steak's like the tuxedo of meat, isn't it? And bologna is the retarded cousin. <laughs> Because if you're eating steak, something special's happening. If you're eating bologna, you might be special. Hey, I like bologna, jerkhead. Your act is bologna. Your bologna has a last name and it's Gaffigan. Bologna hater. Whenever I do get a steak, I always get a salad, thinking that'll balance it out, you know. Oh, 20 pounds of meat, two leaves of lettuce. Cover it. 
I do love salads. Well, I should say I love salad dressing with just a touch of lettuce. <laughs> Otherwise, you feel like you're eating a bag of yard work. <laughs> it is amazing how much cheese you have to put on a salad to make it appealing. <laughs> yeah, can I have some more cheese? Can you throw in a Snickers bar? <laughs> Instead of the lettuce, can I get french fries? When you go out to dinner, they always try and improve the salad. They're like, would you like some fresh pepper on your salad? Can anyone tell the difference between fresh and stale pepper? <laughs> hey, wait a minute! This isn't fresh pepper. I grew up on a pepper farm. Some stale-ass pepper. I can't even taste the pepper. They might as be like, would you like us to wave this wooden wand over your salad? Uh, all right. La, 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 la. Enjoy your magic salad. <laughs> and now it's getting a magic salad. <laughs> it's really, you, none of us want salad. We, we have to trick ourselves into eating salad. You want a salad? No, no. You can go to the salad bar. Bar? Are there going to be women over there? I don't understand the appeal of a salad bar. I go out to dinner so I don't have to make my own food. Why would I want to make my own salad? Here's our salad bar and over there's our dishwashing bar. Huh, awesome! Some of those items at the salad bar too, they got lettuce, tomatoes, a tub of chocolate pudding. Who's putting chocolate pudding on their salad? What is this, fear factor? Oh, that's a good show. I like that show. It's neat. It's hard to eat healthy. It's too expensive, too. You should have this salad for 12 bucks or these eight hamburgers for a nickel. <laughs> Sorry, salad. Most health food gets corrupted anyway. You know, like the granola bar, that's been completely corrupted. Because, you know, initially some guy would say, hey, kids are eating candy bars, right? All we got to do is shape granola like a candy bar. Kids will eat the granola. And then like a week later, uh, Bill, kids are not eating these granola bars. What? All you gotta do is put chocolate chips in the granola bar. <laughs> kids will eat the granola. Uh, Bill, kids are picking the chocolate chips out of the granola bar. What? Hey, all you gotta do is cover it in chocolate. <laughs> Get rid of the freaking granola. <laughs> I get to tell you I do everything. He's gonna be sued by kudos. When did the Mafia get involved in granola? <laughs> it's ridiculous. You ever eat a kudos and you're like, well, might as well finish off the whole box. <laughs> if I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna eat real healthy. <laughs> it's all relative, eating healthy. I mean, I eat kind of healthy compared to some of the Eskimos up in Alaska. They're eating blubber up there. I'm practically starving myself on my Cinnabon. I mean, whale blubber, that's, that's like eating a fat guy, isn't it? That's why Alaska is part of the United States. The Canadians went in there, saw them eating blubber, and were like, huh, the Americans already got here. Hey, that's like a geography joke. Buddy, I would have brought my globe if I needed it. It's ridiculous. I felt like that was anti-Eskimo. You look good. But you know what would make you look even better? Hitting the subscribe button. If it's there, just hit it.